cheeky fighting. Fighting makes the uh, game more interesting. Other than that, most people wouldn't watch a game, I don't think. I never thought fighting should be in hockey in the first place. When I was watching hockey back in Buffalo, from the Buffalo Sabres, and they used to play the Pittsburgh Penguins, and there was always, they had, the Penguins had this team that was known for really dirty fighting. And it was, it detracted from the game. I never enjoyed watching fighting, and I don't think fighting belongs in hockey. Well, f fighting is, I I it's part of hockey. I don't know if you could have a hockey without fights. I don't think anybody would love hockey unless you had fights, at least nobody I know. I, I think the game is basically, from the early days, is uh, you have sticks in your hand. There's really no way to avoid that. Um, if someone's going to be dirty with a stick, you kind of need an enforcement for that. That's goes above and beyond a five-minute fighting penalty is something that is uh, it's kind of needed in the game to balance things out. I do think fighting belongs in hockey to some degree. Um, I believe that sometimes self-policing uh, is a uh, decent way to control the flow of the game. Um, and uh, I think there's probably uh, as violent a sport as hockey is, there's probably less violence in hockey than sports like uh, football, um, and um, uh, even um, uh, even baseball at times when pitchers actually throw at people. Um, so to some degree, I think fighting belongs in hockey. Fighting should definitely be in hockey. It's what brings out the fans, gets us excited, and keeps us watching the game. <laughs> Still think fighting belongs in hockey yeah. today? I think fighting still belongs, and and I and because uh, if the the ability to referees can't make every call, the hooking, the grabbing, the clutching, the holding onto your stick, that's very frustrating. The impeding the progress of a player that you're not allowed to do that now. You can't stop a player. You can't stick your stick between his legs and take him out. It's right. interference. It's been the call that since the 1972, 73 Philadelphia Flyers. Was pretty sure brought in Jeff finishing your check. They called it. So interference all over the building, and that started the game and it changed the game. And but in those days, when things went and you, you got frustrated, you didn't pick up the stick and hit him over the head. You dropped the glove, and everybody dropped them with anybody when they got frustrated in that. Esposito, I saw him fight one night. It's unbelievable. I just caught Red Barons and we're all kind of laughing on the bench. <laughs> so what are you doing? I don't know. But he, they weren't fighters, but they were both mad enough to get, you know, upset at the time. Well, Derek, I'd like to thank you for joining us. Okay. And your book was a delight to read. Thank and you. I, uh, if anybody likes hockey or the Bruins, pick up this book because it's a, it yeah, is full laugh. of stories. <laughs> this excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, a leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.